Hello, my name is Tina. In this video I will make a circle cutter. I make a general service and reform tractor rotary mower and I come to the point that I need a round ceiling for that reductor. The old seal was torn and solidified, shortly unusable, so I need to cut them out of a new sealing material, which is something between paper and rubber, 0.8 mm thick. To make the matching seal I need to cut two circuit and then punch 10 hole for screw out of it. So let's make the tool to do that. This tool is really easy to make, but I sketch it anyway. This is great moment to get some good idea. Now I got sketch and scratch material I need. This little piece of steel I'll use for the tip. 10 mm aluminum rod I'll use as connection between the tip and knife holder. And out of that piece of aluminum I'll make the knife holder. Let's start to make now. Firstly I make a tip on my mini lathe. Dimension here didn't important at all, so everything I make out of head. Firstly I turning the piece so I get a clean surface out of it. Then set the cone of angel and third axis. But this axis is pretty annoying to operate, so I help myself with a battery drill bit and flexible adapter. When the corners is done I align the third axis and finish the tip with 45 degree knife and sand it a bit for a nice finish. Then finish the body of a tip and turn around to finish that side too. Then align the back side of the tip and drill 4.2 mm hole to cut M5 treat in it for block the size of a radius. For a better finish I clamp it again and sand a bit more. Now clamp the piece into middle or drill press and drill the hole through the center. I first make a small hole and then increase to 10 mm with low RPM. Then with the file clean the rough edges. But around the aluminum axis still don't running nice through the hole. But I got solution to that problem. I use H7 rammer to make hole nice and just a bit bigger than 10 mm so the axis can run smoothly through the hole. And that's what I want. Now make the knob for block the axis. I already got a knurled piece of aluminum, so all I need to do is cut M5 treat, glue some inox screw in it with the Loctite, remove the head and cut the edges. Out of that piece of aluminum I'll make a knife holder. First of all I mill it with a fly cutter all around, so I get nice surface and a square shape. When it's done I cut away about 5mm thick piece, and then with a the fly cutter align the rest for surface. Then on two corners drill 2.5mm hole, on cover make 3mm hole on same positions. And cut the edges. On the knife holder now cut two M3 treat. If you work precise, pieces must fit together perfectly. Then send only inner sharp edges and screw the parts together. Now get lots of sharp edges from all the side by cut them with 45 degree mill. Then drill hole into center for mount the shaft. I use 10 mm drill bit, but it's depend on the shaft dimension. I got already set at center of piece, so this is good moment to drill and cut the treat for block the shaft. Then I tried to cut two groove from boot side for better grip and look, but it didn't end well. Maybe because it was clip number 13. No, just kidding, it's totally my fail because I clamp it totally wrong and choose the wrong tool to do that. But at least the mill stay untouched. The part is still totally usable, I need the seal more than the nice circle cutter, so I don't make a new part. But hey, now I got more parts, so it can be mounted on another position. Then I clamp the axis and mill just a bit of flat surface, so the tightening screw always grab on same place by same angle. 
knife holder I make treat from side, so I need to mill a piece of axis by that side also. And now I got all parts of circle cutter prepared for the assembling. There's just a few parts to assemble. First screw the blocking knob into a tip and install axis on its place. Then install screws on the knife holder and block the blade on its place. I use a scalpel insert, but it's work also with alpha blade. And then just mount the knife holder onto axis and block them with another screw. And that's it, my circle cutter is ready to use, so let's test it. Radius can be very simple to adjust, all we need to do is untie the knob and set the position of tip on the axis. I tried to cut a circle out of paper, but the blade isn't new so the cut is not that smooth. Let's make those seal now. First of all I need inner and outer dimension of seal. That dimension divided by 2 so I get the measure I need to set on circle cutter. Diameter is adjusted so we can choose the center and start cutting outer circle. If I cut inner circle first I lose the center, but I will need them for a second cut. That material is way harder than paper and it's 0.8 mm thick so it can be cut in a first go but in second or third circle it's nicely cut. Then set the circle cutter to a smaller radius and cut them out. Of course I use same center spot as for the first cut. So far I got seal right dimensions, but still need holes for the screw, so let's make a puncher. I got here an inex tube 10mm outer dimension, which will be good for M8 screw. Making a puncher is really simple, just cut a piece of tube and align one end on the lathe. Then turn around and cut it that much that you got clean end. Then just use a countersink and cut it until you got sharp edge. So you got something like this. Now I need to transfer position of holes to a seal. I do that on the simplest way. I use clippers to fix the seal in its place and then with a special marker mark position through the holes. Before I start punching I just show you the difference between that two puncher. It depends on which part we will need. If we need the inner part we must use the left puncher, but in my case I need a seal so it's outer piece I must use right puncher to not damage the seal. Here you can see that if we choose the wrong puncher it can damage our seal. With using right puncher cut on seal is undamaged but the middle part which is trash is damaged. Let's make now those holes into seal. When the first seal is punched and checked, I simply fix it on other three with tape, one by one of course, and punch them through the existing holes. The result is perfect seal. Everything fits like it must, circle cutter and a puncher do their job just great. Now a few more details then I go assemble more back together, grass growing too fast those days. And that's it for today, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.